Divine beings, peace, love, abundance, blessings. This is Astro Poppy, and today I am doing channeled messages from the Dark Goddess. And the Dark Goddess has many names and many different faces. And the God Goddess is both one and many, meaning that all the different embodiments of the Divine Feminine can be seen as the Divine Mother. But at the same time, they are unique. They are all individuals and they are all important and all divine. And they exist with many different names in many different places from around the world. But it's the understanding that this video is for those who are connected with the Divine Feminine. But specifically the Dark Divine Feminine, which can manifest for you in many different names, in many different shapes, in many different timelines and what i am seeing is that if you are somebody who is channeling the dark feminine who is connected to the dark feminine i want you to understand your purpose in this life your purpose in this life is to switch the system up is to be an embodiment of difference i pulled some cards and the first one that we have is the high priestess followed by the eight of pentacles which is creating a new foundation the high priestess is intuition but understanding that you are source and you are your connection to source you are spirit you are divine and we are past the stage where we need people in between to teach us how to work with any higher beings of consciousness and yes you can get a reading and yes i am a reader but at the same time remember that you can divinate for yourself remember that you also are a source to spirit and i am just here to remind you of that i am here to remind you that if you are channeling the dark divine feminine and even just the divine feminine in general then you have a path that is very much in a shift meaning that you are here in this life to show people that adversities do not define you that adversities are merely just part of the equation part of the puzzle and that you are the alchemist in your life who always is able to transcend through what looks impossible, what looks like what regular people could never get through. And you are here to always be an embodiment of your own identity, your own power. And when you are connecting with these different beings, you have to remember that you're still a divine being. You're still a god or a goddess. You're still power in its own right. And I want you to know that before I go further, because the dark goddess wants you to understand that you are a divine being and you're not a divine being in the making. You're in the divine... You're you're a divine being in the act of remembrance. You're not a divine being in the making. You are a divine being in the act of remembrance. And the dark divine feminine comes forward in your path to let you know that, hey, the way you feel about this life, the way you feel about the fact that everything kind of feels like you're in a matrix, everything feels like everybody's just kind of put in this sleeping state and this state of just accepting things for what they are instead of really questioning things and piercing through the veil it's almost like you're you're brought in here to switch things up and you're here to feel validated and the fact that there's a hunger for more there's this feeling of your power this feeling of inner knowing and i'm getting the energy of alchemy being something that is going to be very big within you and alchemy goes beyond candle rituals alchemy is mindset but alchemy is the power of word and working with the elementals, fire, water, earth, and air, and what things you can conjure and summon. There was a time where people were able to summon lightning, and people still are. It's just that this now looks like it's phenomenal and out of the ordinary. There was a time where people were able to summon rain. There was a time where people were able to summon fire, earthquakes, tornadoes. And that's the kind of power we have as humans. But they don't want us to know that kind of power. They don't want us to know we have that kind of power or that that kind of power exists because, well, let's be honest here. Not everybody could be walking around with this. And this isn't to say we're going to act reckless, but it's to say that you are infinite potential. You are abundance. You are divine. If you want to be doing anything like that, too, you have to connect with Earth. Remember that Gaia is our first parent, our, our main spirit guide in this life because we're inhabitants of her being and she is both a body, she is both the many different faces of nature, and she is also a spirit guide with her own consciousness, her own divine consciousness. So don't sleep on Gaia, y'all, all right? All right, I'm going to pull some cards for tarot, and I'm just here to remind you your power, but I'm also here to remind you that in this life, you are meant to be an alchemist, you are meant to be the outsider, you are meant to be the person who thinks outside of the box and who pushes beyond barriers and limitations, and sometimes that can be a lonely path, but it's also a path where you really learn to acknowledge, appreciate, and love yourself, and I get this energy of unshakableness, which... 
means that no matter what circumstances are thrown your way, you have a resilience and you have a sense of inner confidence and strength where you're like, I've been there. I've done this. I've gone through this. And when you work with the dark divine feminine, you understand that death and rebirth is just a natural cycle. Meaning that when things in your life look like they're going through a fatal end, it's usually just a change. It's usually just a shift. And you have gotten so comfortable with it if you work with the dark divine feminine where now it doesn't affect you. Now you have this trust that no matter what, you're always going to be abundant. You're always going to be taken care of. You're always going to shine. And I also get the energy of you having to learn what it's like to be villainized. And remember that for those of you who get villainized for whatever it is, it feels like for not fulfilling the roles that people want of you. Just remember that the dark divine feminine also gets villainized. It, she gets treated bad. It gets to the point where she's shunned from society. And I want you to know this story and remember this because they're also here to show us what it's like to be rejected, to be falsely depicted. And when you even think of the greatest people on earth, including, yes, Yeshua, whose real name isn't Jesus, by the way. These were people who were chastised. These were people who were pushed aside by society. These were people who had a negative depiction. And it wasn't until their passing and even centuries later and sometimes years later where things shift. But their stories get manipulated as tools for propaganda anyway. So what I'm trying to get at here is that your story of who you are is yours and it's yours to believe in. Don't ever put your voice, your image, your worthiness, your morality in the faces of others, in the opinions of others, in the mouths of others. Don't ever see your worth through the eyes of others. That's one thing that the Dark Goddess also wants you to remember. The Dark Goddess is telling you to really step into your power and to not be afraid of your powers of manifestation. This includes chanting. This does include candle rituals, but beyond that, mental alchemy. What it, what things can you summon when you feel in a state of bliss, in a state of joy, in a state where you're no longer afraid of your power? I'm also seeing music as being a tool and vehicle for your manifestation. So be very intentional with what music you're putting for yourself. Because remember that we manifest whether we know it or not. We manifest good things and bad things 24-7. So if we're constantly manifesting because we're constantly vibrating and our vibrations are fueled by our thoughts and our thoughts are influenced by what we put around us, put music that is going to put you in the state of creation and divine creation. But hey, when it's time, divine destruction and know how to separate the creative side of you and the destructive side of you because we all have that. That's the left hand. That's the right path. That's the pillar of darkness as seen as the high priestess and the pillar of light as seen in the high priestess. So we have both energies. We have the power to create and to destroy. And what the dark goddess wants you to remember is that part of self-mastery is to know when to call which one for which situation. All right. So that's just a little bit of what it means to be in the path of the Dark Divine Feminine. But I'm going to pull some cards, all right? And for those watching who are um, more masculine in their energy, regardless of your gender or sex, remember that there's the Dark Div Divine Masculine as well. That's Lucifer. That's the Smoothies. That's Thor. That's Odin. That's Loki. All right? But I'm going to pull some cards and see what Spirit got to say from the side of the Dark Divine Feminine. <laughs> I like this message and I'm going to show y'all the message real motherfucking quick. Am I allowed to say that? I hope that doesn't get my views down, but who cares? Um, so the first card that we have is temperance and temperance is talking about the art and process of alchemy. But what the dark divine feminine wants you to remember with the four of pentacles here is not to be manifesting from a place where you're just looking at your current circumstances. No, that is a limitation. You want to manifest from a place that is a blank slate. We have the 10 of pentacles. Don't just manifest being able to survive, manifest being able to thrive. And this is what we visualize. This is what we see for ourselves. Remember that we're always manifesting, whether we are aware of it or not. And with the Ten of Pentacles there, it's very much about remembering that you are more than just your current circumstances. And if you are in circumstances that are social economic that you do not like, remember that you have the power. You have the power, not someone else. You have the power to shift that 
up. And I am seeing a road opening ritual being done, a blockbuster candle being lit as well to banish anything that is in your way, to banish any barriers within your mind, within yourself, within your aura, within your life. And also a road opening, as I said, to just move forward in your path, to not let anything block you, all right? We don't got time for that. And then we got the star card. And this is remembering all the times in which you've already performed alchemy. All the times in which you felt like you were going to fall apart. And there you were finding your power again and again and again. But what the dark goddess wants you to know is that we're moving from a place of, yes, we're powerful. Yes, we can survive to, I know I'm that person. I know I'm that, that queen, king, I'm that divine being, and I'm here to thrive, and I'm here to set upon the intention of what I want my life to be like. And I really get this energy of not letting your imagination be limited by anybody around you, not, not allowing your manifestations to be limited by people who feel like you asking for what you, whatever it is that you desire as if it's too much. There is no such thing as too much. There is only what you feel like you deserve. And I hate to say it, although there is a lot of corruption in the world and we have the 1%, the one thing that these people do know how to do right is give themselves the allowance to do whatever it is they feel like is possible for them. Of course, they be hijacking the system. They're manipulating the matrix. They're manipulating us. But this is to say, y'all, uh, have audacity for what you want because there are people who have audacity um, for corruption while you're just asking for audacity to live your best life. All right? There's a difference. And I don't want you to feel like you asked for too much. I don't want your mind to be small in terms of what you see for yourself based on your circumstances, based on your past. This world is a blank slate. This life is a blank slate. And I want you to just imagine if you could hop into any reality that it is where you are living your best life as you with your identity, with your body, with your name, with your history, what would that life look like? Because that's what matters more than trying to imagine, oh, if I could just do life all over again or if I could just go back 10 years in time. It's too late for that. And we can't go back in time. Secondly, don't allow whatever obstacles are currently in your way to block your imagination for a better future, for success, for abundance, for you living your best life. Everything right now is magnetic. And you know what creates a magnetic force? Our thoughts. Our thoughts are so precious and so important and they can create and destroy and they can block us and they can uplift us. So I want you to start thinking about what your best life looks like and be in that energy, be in that vision. If you have to, start doing the act of scripting. There are a bunch of videos on scripting on YouTube where you're essentially writing down your life as if it's already happening. So your abundant dream life your music video life, as if it's already happening, meaning write down, I'm living in my penthouse, I'm living in my mansion, I'm living in my farm, I'm living in my ranch. I love it. I love the ambiance. Get into the details. I'm flying my private jet. And then afterward, I am going for some sails in the evening, uh, sailing in the evening. And then afterward, for the, for the night, I might just fly to wherever the hell else and I'm just going to enjoy a nice restaurant meal. Of course, I'm just making some funny stuff up to just say be as unique and as individualistic as you want it to be you could really manifest whatever it is that you want y'all it could be as silly as i want to manifest a life where i'm just wearing pure luxury brands you don't know how that's gonna happen but it can very much happen now i'm not saying i want you to go manifest that i'm just saying it doesn't even matter if it sounds dumb or not or if to some people it's dumb or not. Because at the end of the day, the universe doesn't have an opinion about what you're asking for. The universe will just bring you what you're asking for or thinking about because everything is magnetic. Everything is polar. So don't think too much. Don't think too hard about what you want. Ask for it and fuel it with belief. Fuel it with intentions. Fuel it with affirmations. Fuel it with scripting. That's what the Dark Goddess wants you to do now. The Dark Goddess wants you to create your Ten of Pentacles ending. Your Ten of Cups ending. All right? Which is that happy ending. What does your happy ending look like for you? And of course, remember that your happy ending is literally a happy beginning as well. Because now you're in a whole new journey. But I really want you to understand. 
The canvas is blank. There are no limitations so long as you put limitations in your mind. I'm going to pull two more cards and see what else the Dark Goddess might have to say. I hope this video is a service. If it is, please let me know in the comments below. All right, we have the Tower and we do have the Three of Swords. You've gone through a lot of heartbreak. You've gone through a lot of death and rebirth. You've gone through a lot of betrayals. And you have this way of alchemizing pain. You understand that pain comes because there's lessons involved. You understand that lessons happen. And sometimes those lessons are through heartbreak. And you understand, okay, I'm not a victim in life. I am here to bear witness. And you are always able to bounce back. That is one of your gifts. That is your resilience is one of your gifts, but also the ability to always transform, to always be reborn again is another one of your gifts. But now the dark goddess wants you to understand, so is your ability to create and so is your ability to destroy. This means that you are divinely protected, but also that you can create whatever it is that you want. The only thing in your way are the mental barriers in your mind. And, uh, well, I came from this, so I can't get here. Baby, this is a blank canvas. This is a blank slate. This life is for you to make. You're your own sim character, yo. And you need to start manifesting whatever it is that you want for yourself. Do the intention, do the thought, do the feeling, do the vision. And these can be then sent through candle magic if you want. Remember that the candles... It's not that the candles do the magic for us. It's us fueling the candles with our intention. So you can put all of this into candles. You can put all of this into writing. You could put all of this into prayers. You could do all of the above. Do what you got to do to fuel your dream life and understand that the limitations that the world and society has put on us is not limitations for us to believe in. It's only real. These limitations that we, told by, that we have been told by society, once we believe it to be real, and the most precious thing, y'all, aside from your heart and your soul and your health and your body, is your mind. So take care of your mind because it can do some funny stuff and it can lead you to dead ends for no reason, all right? But start aligning your mind to your heart and to your soul. And when you feel like your mind, because the mind is always trying to find solutions, it doesn't have that courage, lean into your heart and ask yourself, what does my heart believe in these moments for me to do? All right? That was a video on just some channel messages from the Dark Goddess. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more spiritual how-tos, occult information, you can follow me on YouTube. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you want a private reading, how to do so is on the about below. If you want to support the channel, how to do so is on the about below, all right? Stay beautiful, stay abundant, and stay great, y'all.